Hi, I'm Jen. Hi guys, Arthur Mac again for another vlog. And this is my first ever vlog. Random one I know, but um, I don't really schedule these things, they just kind of happen. I've been meaning to do it for a while, and today is going to be a really good day because we're going to Rendlesham Forest. I'm off to Rendlesham Forest uh, for a bit of an adventure. To look for some UFOs. So, uh, we're going to go drive there, and I'll see you in a bit. So it is going to pour with rain today, apparently, but I've been assured by my compadre and Scully for the uh, event, a uh, little juice box, that it won't rain. Pretty gonna rain quite a lot. Um, so yeah, we'll see you on the road. Bye bye. Uh, right, yeah, so we're here at Renishman Forest. Uh, that's Jen in the background, just uh, over my shoulder. Uh, she's driving us here, uh, so thank you, Jen. Uh, it is raining. That's how I told you so, but it is. Uh, but this is what we're going to be doing. Look, behind me is the, U oh, it's backwards, isn't it? Oh, yeah. the UFO trail. Um, in December 1980, several sightings of a UFO were reported in Renishman Forest. Many think these mysterious events are the most significant UFO incidents to have occurred in the UK. During the evening of the 26th of December, that's Boxing Day, a resident of Sudbourne, a village approximately six miles to the northeast of Renishman Forest, reported a mysterious shape like an upturned mushroom in the sky above his garden. Late that night, two UF, uh, USA uh, Air Force patrolmen at the east gate of the RAF Woodbridge spotted the unusual lights of the forest and were given permission to go in and investigate what they reported was very strange. This was the time of the Cold War, and because of the sensitive military situation at the time, the incident was officially reported to the military authorities by the Deputy Base Commander Lieutenant Colonel Charles Holt, United States Air Force. And much of the area was reported from the Great Storm 87, there is of course no tangible evidence of a UFO on the ground. No debris was found apart from some broken treetop branches. We can have a piece together from the transcripts and recordings that were taken at the time of an intriguing picture. There we go, so this is the show we're going to be doing. Uh-oh. It's like, um, we should have the uh, X-Files music in the background or something. Yeah. <laughs> Are you scared? I'm terrified <laughs> that your gets lost. I won't. In with a map and a marked trail. <laughs> well, we'll see, won't we? It's not London. I know London, I'm back in my hand. It's born there. <laughs> you know, at the times you've got us lost in London. So we're coming up to our first turn. Um, I don't think that needs to be the No, well it might not. It's a turn. It's a turn. It's I'm scared. It's not. How are you scared? It's broad daylight. So? They might they might come at light, mostly. I don't know. They mostly come at light. <laughs> mostly. Yeah, they might. We found some alien life in the woods. Oh no, wait. It's just people. It's okay. So I found the east gate. I don't know. I thought it was electrified, but it's not apparently. Maybe they'll turn the electric on. Yeah. And we'll get zapped. What was meant to have happened here, sorry? This is where the uh, guards reported seeing the lights in the sky. Oh. They were joined by three other, or two others, sorry. Uh, one had to stand guard and never threw me into the forest. Never to be seen again. Oh no, wait, they did they, come back. They were yeah. Seen, yeah. yeah. Um, Unusual lights were seen. Uh, by the patrolman in this direction. So uh -huh. number two is. As you cross the road, uh, imagine the search. The first sightings from the airbase had been of light in the sky, a strange glow. As the men entered the forest, radio contact with the airbase began. <laughs> To break down, and so one of the search party remained on the edge of the forest to keep contact. Two men therefore continued deep into the forest until they approached the eastern edge. It was here they reported seeing a shape in the clearing. Walk to point three on the map. 
that. It's like a horror movie. It's like there was four. One stays at the gate, so you split up, and then they get to the forest. One stays on the edge of the forest, and then two go inside. Why would they split up? But it's just a so to radio communication. No, I know, but we've all seen horror films where they just. It's not horror films. It'd be a sci-fi. Shut up. It's like someone smeared it with poop. Landing site. This is really cool though. There are lots of classified things. It can't be that classified if it's on a site. But yeah. That's not true. It, I thought you believed this. I do. Well then I it is true. Because well, I believe it. Yeah. As you cross the road? Yeah. It says the first sightings from the airbase have been seen of lights in the sky. A strange glow as the men entered the forest. Radio contact with the airbase began to break down. <gasps> One of the search party remained behind. Ooh. Two men therefore knew deep. Forest. Can we be the two men? Well, we could be one of the men <laughs> and a woman. Oh, well, you're not a man. <laughs> On the weekends. Well, there's a rumour that what they were seeing, what what the um, little claim the two Air Force men were seeing, was light from the lighthouse. Well, where's a lighthouse? It's over here somewhere. Oh. But it's in totally wrong direction. And it's disproved. Yeah. Well, it's easily disproved if you look on the map, surely. We've just found some strange markings. Or no, it's smaller, no, than, smaller than, or the same as. Or it's a sideways six. Maybe. I'm more interested in the less commercial sign, this. What's that? Who's done that? It's the Scottish flag. But it's on the sign that just says UFO trail. Hmm. Now tie up head, we'll see what it says. It's up there. Although that one, the one with the alien head, is pointing over here. Well, that's if it is pointing over there, which I don't think it is. Well, it might be. There's another one, it's a bracket. I don't know what it means. Someone's drawn a chalk arrow. So we're at the crash site apparently, or the- Landing the site. The landing crash site. It's the landing site. Crash. We didn't crash. And there is a UFO here. Yeah. It's, it's some a... sort of metal structure that's been made by, I think, um, year sevens. Yeah. Lots of people have claimed it as well. As the sign says, don't, please don't stand there, you have to face it. Yeah. And then the music, the first thing you see is scrolling aside. ET was here. Yeah. Brilliant. It's really original. Brilliant, yeah, That's it was. Cool. Yeah. Um, and it's got these symbols on it, other than Glenn. Damn you, Glenn. Yeah, I don't know, they look kind of like hands. It literally makes no sense in the time anything to do with what they've read or what was written. Because <laughs> one, two, three, four, so there's five separate aliens. Or is an alien with five hands? Or maybe. Or maybe there were five aliens? In this little thing. Yeah, they could be tiny. Five tiny aliens. Yeah. They could be miniature, like E.T. He's pretty small. But yeah, this is a clearing. And there were some hippies here. They didn't have any shoes on. That defines them as hippies. It didn't help their cause, to be fair. I feel humbled to be in this space right now. Disappointed is what I would use. Really? I wanted aliens. You got me? Yeah. I can see the spaceship bit in there. The tree in the middle of the path. Clearly sign. sign of alien life. Yeah. So now we're at marker five, which apparently means that there was screaming coming from... Hang on, I'll catch up with you. The initial search party reported hearing women screaming. Who were these women and where were they? <gasps> they also reported on animals and nearby paddock became frenzied. Something had disturbed them. One of the children involved in the search on the second night was reported to be a unable to move when he first came from the craft. He stated, I could not move. It was dreamlike. I felt star on that night. Everything was on half speed something was wrong. <gasps> well, I don't hear any screaming at the moment. Oh, that was pretty ladylike. It's not a son of God, it's a very naughty boy, now bugger off. We were just discussing what we'd do if we uh, actually saw an alien craft come down and I was informed that my stick would not be able to defend me. If well I were... just was stating the obvious that if some alien or interdimensional being beam down in front of you via their spacecraft, yeah. I doubt your particularly pointy stick would be of some threat to them. But they might have never seen a stick before. 
this is what I was saying. Right. They might be scared. They might think it's like a part of me. The stick yeah. that you're holding in your hand. They might not know it's a hand. They... Have you taken some sort of drug this morning? <laughs> this is where the screaming happened, apparently. So it's going to happen. Carry on. <laughs> Cheers. Well, we found some more. I'm thinking it's windings. You think it's windings? The the little symbols on the backs of the signs. There's a question mark on the last one. Yeah, Lee calls. We're gonna go and search windings when we get home. <laughs> or we'll just Google the answer is. Oh. Someone solved it. Those guys. There they are. See I'm wearing suitable shoes. They'll be the first ones we kill. <laughs> We're back. We survived. I don't think we got beamed up or probed. Unfortunately, no. Uh, Let's go back and camp it. Yeah, we will come back and I think we're going to camp at some point, which will be nice. And in the dark, it might be a bit scarier. Oh, we might see more. But we need to have some snacks. Yeah. Because it's hot and uh, we've got cheese sandwiches. Um, so we got to the unruly pig. Um, and you've got it's beer. It's amazing. Well, you've got beer. I don't have beer. It's driving. Um, it's actually, it is actually really nice here. Mm. It's got lovely gardens. Um, we're sitting in the beer garden with some sofas. We're sitting on a sofa, it's nice. But yeah, we contemplate the steak or going home for steak. It's a you tough life. You take steak though, so you think? It's a tough life. Um, I guess the next bit of the video will explain what we actually did. There will either be a video of the steak here or the steak at home. Yeah? That's right enough. Yeah. Might as well get another beer in. <laughs> So we went for roast beef. Um, it's enormous. What do you think of yours? <laughs> yeah, we didn't go home. We just finished our dinner. What did you have? Oh, I had everything. I had the beef <laughs> and then I had the two ice creams and beer. Oh yeah, I had prawns and roast beef. It was nice. It was lovely. And, and now somehow I have to drive home um, really, really full. watching my first vlog it's probably really awkward and weird and hopefully they'll get better but who knows they can only get better from here because i'm really rubbish but yeah we've had a good day um, and i hope you enjoyed wandering around with us say bye